after turning on the Wii, we'll have to put in the batteries into the Wii mode and then first press the sync button on the remote here and then the sync button on the Wii until it shows that it's synced by having only one LED lighting up and next we make sure that the sensor bar is connected and when that's done we navigate to Wii settings and to date, calendar, date and check that the date is set correctly and next we go to internet console information and you put this address that you see here into this website please.hackme.com a4 5c to 770C79C and then you click on I'm not a robot and you keep bundle the hack me and solo for me checked and then you save this somewhere Alright, then you, you, we need an SD card. And an SD card reader that we put in our PC with internet access. And then you just unzip this folder that you downloaded to, to the SD card directly. Oh, in this case it unzipped to a subfolder, that's not good. You need to put all files into the main folder into the SD card directly not into a subfolder and yeah if it's a good SD card usually that's all you need to do now we put the SD card into our console and then we run letterbomb Yeah, it always waits a few a few seconds for you to read all of the text properly, and then all you do is you press install the homebrew channel, continue and exit. There's nothing else that we need to do, and it should take you to the homebrew channel directly. Now we can take out our SD card. And paste the files from the package that you downloaded. If you haven't downloaded, if you haven't downloaded it yet, you could find it at cardano.net/ssbm/ucf/latest, and you just store that, uh, yeah, somewhere. And after unzipping it, you have. these files here and you take all of them and paste them directly on the main folder on your SD card and you can delete all of the uh, text files here they are just readmes and licenses if they bother you it's it's less, con less convoluted if you delete them but you should keep the readme from the package because that includes installation information that might be useful and after pasting these files you just eject the SD card 
and put it in here again. And now a few apps will appear. And first we run Preloader. Preloader is for never needing a remote again, so that this time we used it will be the last one. At least for as long as we only play GameCube games on the Wii. So now we press A to install or update Preloader. So I press A. Alright, it says install done, so everything's good. And now we turn off the console and hold reset and power at the same time for about two seconds. That's for forcing preloader to start. Now we configure preloader with a press of on up on the D-pad, you go to settings, and then you set auto boot using the, the D-pad to install file. Return to, you can set to preloader, but it's not strictly necessary. And save settings. Now we go to load install file, and we install Nintendo 4 Water with E. And that's already everything that we need to do to prepare auto boot on this console. Now we turn it off again. And when we turn on the console now, it will directly boot into Nintendo. -owned. And we can start melee from here. Before you start melee and maybe set it to auto booting melee, melee so that don't, you don't need to press A twice, it's good to, to adjust the video options accordingly. For example, if you always want to have deflicker on, you can set it to force deflicker, or if you play on 480p, you would enable force progressive here, and you would set video to force um, either force NTSC or force pulse XT so that uh, Deflicker can't be active, because Deflicker is only annoying when you use 480p. Yeah, and when you've configured that, everything else is already as you need it. Cheats must be on so that UCF can, can load. When you've done all of that, then you can turn the Wii off again and take the SD card out and paste the melee ISO on it. I'll only paste one of them, the NTSC one for now. And the important thing is that you put it into the correct folder. So on the SD card there's a games folder and in the games folder there's the folder SSBM NTSC 1.02 and we need to put our ISO into the correct order uh, folder. So. Here I have the 1.02 ISO, so I paste it here. And after it's fully transmitted, I will need to rename it to game.iso. If you keep the original file name, like Super Smash Bros. Melee version 1.02.iso, then Nintendo won't detect it and you won't be able to load it this way. By now the ISO is fully transferred to the SD card and I've renamed it to game.iso so I can eject the SD card and put it into the Wii. And turn the Wii on. And now it will either already start to auto boot, or if it does not, then you will have to select the ISO correctly, because it might not be the pre-configured one that you put on the SD card. And you'll directly, usually directly put to the character select screen, and you can start playing. The final thing that I'll show you in this video is how to prepare a UCF memory card. And for that, we turn the Wii on by holding Reset and Power to enter the preloader menu. Then we go to Homebrew Channel. And we start GCMM, GameCube Memory Card Manager. Then we select Internal SD with A. 
And first, to make enough space, we will back up all the save files that you have here. So from first we back up this one, then second one, the third one, and the fourth one, and the fifth one, and the sixth one. But now we delete all of them. Yeah, it always has a few steps so that you don't accidentally delete a file. So you first have to press A and then C to really delete a file. So it's good to back all the files up first so that you don't delete any important save files that you might have. Alright, and when your memory card is completely empty, then you can press X to restore the UCF memory card files. So we'll start with the first one, the Japan one. We just press A, and this takes a bit longer than deleting, but usually not too long. Then USA. And finally, Help. And now we can exit and we'll start Nintendo again to check whether whether the memory card is working properly. And to do this we will need to disable memory card emulation so that and also disable cheats so that cheats won't allow UCF to load directly and Disabling memory card emulation will allow us to actually load from the memory card that's inserted. So we disable cheats, we disable memory card emulation, and start the ISO. Now you go to versus mode, name entry, it asks you whether you want to make a new save file, and you do. And now if you go to versus mode, melee, you can see that UCF is now active from the text at the top. And you can use this memory card on any console to use UCF on.